all doing well. We've got Brenda here with us today. Um, so yeah, I think um, I think we're ready to start. If you are, um, I'm going to be recording, and we'll circulate. Recording in progress. Um, we'll circulate the footage to everyone um, later on. Um, if you want, um, I can allow recording back to people now. If you prefer. Yeah, if I could, that'd be great. Yeah, no please. worries, Rob. Same yes, please. Right. Okay. Yes, please, Rob Cole. No worries. Yes, and please, Sarah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much. No problem. Cool. Ask Gary, I have it, please, Sarah. Yeah, yeah thanks, Rob. Cool. I'm Beth. You didn't hear me before. Sorry. No worries. Yeah, I think I think we're ready to go. So we're gonna kick off with um, Rob Phillips. Yeah, hi Brennan, Rob Phillips from BBC Wales. How are you? Yeah, very good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very good. Um, saw your goal on Saturday. That must have been a special moment for you. Yeah, really special. I mean, um, I've grown up watching them games, so yeah, really nice to get a goal. And yeah, I think we needed it. It was a big goal, and hopefully we can kick on from there. In fact, two Welshmen on the score sheet that day. Yeah, yeah, Loza scored as well, which was, it wasn't nice at the moment, but um, I guess I'm happy it was him compared to any other players. How important do you think it is now that you, you've been out on loan, but you've got a bit of experience, and now you're, for your Wales future, that you're playing at a, you know, a good level at the Championship with Forrest? Yeah, I think it's big. I mean, last year was definitely what I needed, coming on loan, playing loads of games, but... This year, being in the Championship, hopefully I can kick on again, do well, and I think it's probably better for my Wales playing in the Championship because it probably gives me a better chance of getting more minutes. Mm. Um, we've all seen today that there have been plenty of withdrawals for various reasons. Uh, I mean, you've got your visa, you're fine. Yeah. But uh, uh, what did you have to go through to get that? Just tell us a bit about the, the protocols. You had to, all had to turn up at one place, and what do you have to do there? Uh, yeah, so I think there was two options to go to Swindon and Coventry. I went to Coventry, was, which wasn't too far from me, so it was fine. And yeah, I just had to um, take a fingerprint and that was pretty much it. Um, give my passport, hand it into them and then it was all sorted. So yeah, it was no problem. How much are you looking forward to these games? It's quickly into the season, isn't it? But uh, you've had a taste of what it's like with Wales. How much are you looking forward to this now? Yeah, really looking forward to it. I think um, now, like, I feel comfortable in the team, and I've know I know everyone quite well. Um, but yeah, it'll be nice to get on the pitch with and play with them, especially some good players here. So yeah, really excited. Yeah, and you're in this bubble. You've all had to put up with that sort of thing for a while now. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, we've had it pretty much the whole time I've been with the seniors, so it feels quite natural to me. But yeah, it's fine. I mean, no one complains. It's all good. Now, I'm old enough to remember your dad almost playing for Wales. <laughs> um, did he sort of guide you towards Wales after all that? I mean, I don't know if you know this story of what happened. He thought he was eligible and then he got injured when he was picked. He had the blazer or lots of stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, yeah, he was always uh, spoke highly of playing for Wales because obviously how the manager and how many players from the youth systems have been playing. So, yeah, he was... He was, he was happy that I was playing for Wales and yeah, it made it, made it quite an easy decision for me. Has he still got the jacket? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'll have to ask him. <laughs> because he was eligible for, well, Jamaica he played for in the end, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, that was where he was born, so yeah, he ended up playing for them. Did you ever think along those lines as well? Because you could have played for Jamaica given your dad. Yeah, um, there was a time, a point after I'd obviously played for England a few times that I was going to play maybe somewhere else but I always had the option to carry on playing for England but um, yeah I had some um, wanted to play for Wales really. Yeah and it's a big month with the World Cup games how much will a good performance in Finland do you think help you and how much have the players got to step up with all the absentees now? Yeah definitely I mean there's a big opportunity for quite a few players especially in that Finland game I mean Usually that would be the players who wouldn't be playing in the qualifiers, but because of that absentees, I think 
it's a good chance for some players to get themselves in that World Cup qualifiers team. And yeah, I think everyone's quite used to how we want to play. So I think it's just time for people to step up. And with the absentees, do you think that there are people there can do this now? And, um, you know, it, it is the big chance now, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, there's obviously always been a good core of younger players in this group who have been around it for a while and been watching and taking everything in. So I think whenever the chance ca comes, um, it's just for us to take it with two hands. And last one for me, obviously, it's, it's all about World Cup qualification. Uh, how much of a dream would it be for you to play in a World Cup? Yeah, it'd be a massive dream of mine. I mean, everyone watches the World Cup when it comes around and just the excitement that goes with it. I mean, if we were to qualify, it'd be unbelievable and all the boys are going to give 100% to try and get that because I believe we can. We've got a good enough team and I'd, I think we can do it. Brennan, all the best. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you, mate. Yeah, no questions for me today, Sarah, do you ask? Hey, how are you doing? You all right? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. All good. Well, your face has been around for, a, you know, a, a few years now, but you're still really young. How is it playing with the likes of, you know, Bale and the, or the older ones? And, and what have they taught you over the couple of seasons that you've been part of the senior squad? Um, uh, just watching them, how they go about the things, it just shows why they're at that level that they are. and. I don't think I need to have direct advice just watching them day to day and seeing how good they are, seeing how good they keep themselves in shape just like keeps me motivated to want to get to that level. I mean, being a professional footballer, I mean, you are kind of talking one or two percent for performances, really. What, what would be the one thing coming to international camp that you've learned about your game at such a young age? I'd probably say like tactically playing against different countries because you can play against different teams and your club level but different countries do it differently like some of them have really unique styles and I think it just makes you an all-round better player being able to deal with different different scenarios really. And lastly for me obviously Rob mentioned about um, the players missing how, how do you lot feel about that because obviously I spoke to Rob last week and he was kind of frustrated that Wales have been put in another position but again to lose players because of the visa, visa issue frustrating from, from the squad or just getting on with it? Um, yeah, it's probably a little bit frustrating because I think some of the boys would have wanted to come, but yeah, we just have to get on with it. I mean, there's lots of challenges for the time that we're oh, it's going on at the minute, so yeah, we're just going to have to get on with it. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Beth. Um, anyone else have any other questions? Steve, jump in. Hi, Brennan. Hi, mate. You alright? Good, thanks. Yeah. Uh, can you just tell me a little bit about uh, your father's influence on, on your career um, and, and how much of a role he's played? Um, yeah, he's played quite a big role, to be fair, because obviously um, he used to play and I used to watch him growing up and he played for Nottingham Forest, so he just always keeps me motivated to want to keep playing, keep doing well. I mean, he didn't have too much like hands-on influence, but he was always just giving me advice whenever I needed it and I could always go to him, which is really good. And in terms of your international career, I mean, is he someone who, who analyses international football? Has, has he spoke to you about that? Um, not too much. He's always keeping an eye on like how we're doing and he's always impre been impressed with the setup here and yeah, he just oh, thinks it's good for me to play here. And there's a link between him and, and David Beckham and uh, <laughs> he, he sent you a couple of good luck messages. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, I think them two just knew each other from uh, academy days and yeah, they kept in touch. I think he's got a few friends who are still close to David Beckham, so yeah, I think they just kept in touch through that way. Right, so do you, do you get a, a text every day from Beckham? <laughs> How's it going? Or is it not quite that? Time? Yeah, not that often. Not, not after my period, nah. Right. So when, when was the last time you heard from him? Um, I think it was after the playoffs games, something like that. Right, but it keeps an interest. Yeah. Good. Best of luck. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Thanks, Brian. Hi, Brennan. Hi, OK. Yeah, not too bad. Um, what, was the, what would you say was the major reason you would have decided on Wales in the end? Um, I think as soon as I came um, to play for the under-19s, just 
like the team morale, like everyone was so close and throughout the age groups playing the 19s, 21s and with the seniors, it's all been the same. Like everyone's been really close, really welcoming and just allow you to play your football. And I think that's the best thing I need, just to be able to focus on that and get on with everyone. It's been really good, really easy. Did you have any conversations with anybody in the England setup? Perhaps they wanted to keep you in the England setup. Uh, no, not not really any direct um, approaches to keep me playing. I think maybe like called up for something. I think maybe a couple of years ago. But as soon as I started playing for Wales, I was really focused on playing here. Thanks, Brendan. No problem. Thanks, Phil. Any other questions? Are we all done? I think that's it. So thanks, Is that good? Brennan. No problem. Thanks, everyone.